I'd just like to show you a patient that we've just been treating who has median arcuate ligament compression. He initially presented with severe abdominal pain and vomiting and was in another hospital for a few days prior to having a CT scan which showed a ruptured aneurysm or pseudoaneurysm probably arising from the inferior pancreatico duodenal artery. So the solution to this was to embolize the embolize the pseudoaneurysm and this I did on this occasion with Glubran. So I'll just take you through how we went about doing that. This is the presenting CT scan and if we look at the sagittal view we scroll from side to side you can see the very obvious median arcuate ligament compression with the virtually occluded celiac axis and then as we come across you can see the pseudoaneurysm here arising from this tiny little branch from the inferior pancreatico duodenal artery and you can see that better probably on the coronal images here. Let's look at the coronal oblique and we're anterior, there's the SMA, we're coming posteriorly, there's the pseudoaneurysm and there's the inferior pancreatico duodenal artery that this is actually coming off just here. This is a SIM2 catheter placed in the SMA and look at the rapid flow via that inferior pancreatico duodenal artery and you can see the pseudoaneurysm faintly filling. I've now got a two French prograde catheter into that vessel injecting contrast again you can see the pseudoaneurysm filling but it's not entirely clear where it's filling from it's probably a tiny branch vessel coming off this you can't occlude this front and back door because of course you'd occlude the flow to the liver now more by luck than good management i've got my microcatheter into the pseudoaneurysm cavity injecting contrast and you can see the relatively slow flow within this as the neck is pretty much occluded by the microcatheter I then placed a microspirally coil into the pseudoaneurysm and I planned initially to fill the, coil, the pseudoaneurysm with these microcoils. This is a 14 centimeter one, but it's rapidly apparent that this was gonna take an awful lot of coils. So I then decided to use Glubran. This was in a ratio of one Glubran to six Lipiodol. And as I inject it, I'm going to pull it microcatheter back to make sure it doesn't stay engaged in that glue and remember that the cavity is filling from posteriorly to anteriorly so even though it might look appear to be filled it's not because you're still injecting the glue and it's coming anteriorly to fill the lumen and you see I keep injecting it until it fills right up to the neck of the pseudoaneurysm and then very rapidly I pull the microcatheter out and you can see a tiny amount of glue prolapsing back into the cavity when I take this out just there. Now you can see post coiling and post glue the pseudoaneurysm has been completely excluded from the circulation.